Hello again. <laughs> So if you remember this setup, you've been here for a while, you might have seen the Starlink video. That was an unboxing and today we have another one. So here, so this is my first ever product that has been sent to me as a van lifer, which is very exciting. And when they reached out to me and asked if they could send me a product for me to talk about it on the channel, I was more than happy to accept. Um, but I have always known that if this moment were to ever come I would never want to talk about something or share something on the channel that I don't feel is actually good I guess <laughs> is what I'm trying to say just yeah that is something that is I would honestly use and would actually recommend so this video I'm really just taking you along with me the whole way the whole journey we're going to unbox it together and we're going to try it out um together and I'll give you a bit my honest opinion on what I think if I do actually like it at the end of this video then you will most probably see it in the future in upcoming videos and I'll be able to give more updates about it but like I say this is just a kind of dipping a toe in the waters kind of video and yeah going through it together because that's how I've done everything in this uh, on this channel how I've done everything with the van from the very beginning when we were looking for the van and found this van to setting off and traveling I've done everything from a completely transparent point of view of we have no clue what we're doing this is all new to us and here we are so let's begin the unboxing I look tiny and this looks huge okay one box we have this is the actual heater I'm assuming <laughs> I'm gonna have to get scissors for this one thing I did see when researching the product is that they it did come with a shower and hose, which I'm assuming this is what this is, and it is. Oh, it actually looks really similar to the one we already have in the van. I don't know if that's focusing. I will I will show it properly in a minute, but it actually looks like the same style, which is really good because the one we found is one that is actually um, uses a lot less water per minute, a lot less liters per minute. So yeah, that's good. And this is obviously to go on the gas bottle. This is so exciting. Also, if you've been following the videos, you'll know that I've done everything with my dad. We converted the van together and we were traveling together to begin with. Now I'm by myself. So the idea of trying to set this up by myself is a little bit daunting because I have no clue. So if I manage to do this today, anybody can do this today. All right, so this is the heater. It does come actually with a little handle, which is quite funny. It also does have so that you can, um, I, I'll be showing all this in a minute better because this is literally me seeing it for the first time. So yeah, it's quite straightforward. Has the gas, the water, a warning. So electric wise, it runs on batteries. Portable gas, water heater, live smart, better life. Let's see. I'm, I'm like so nervous actually. I'm so happy that I'm doing this like with you guys. I hope you don't judge me and I hope if you see me do anything wrong, I hope you let me know. <laughs> so these are the bits that are included in the box here. Like I said before, we have the um, gas connector for the gas bottle. We have over here the shower, which I'll show now the one we have in our bathroom, but it looks really similar. It's obviously a different color and everything, but it's definitely the same kind of design, which like I say, very cool. Um, that it also comes with this um which yeah i'm not sure where we'll install if we do install it but it's obviously to hold the shower in um a couple of stickers and then the main the main thing is the actual gas heater here we have the gas the water batteries gas inlet water outlet drain plug and the water inlet it doesn't come with batteries which is what we have to go and search for and i also saw here that in the uh, manual it says that we need to get a gas container valve as well so we're just going to go and find a place where we can grab these bits now and then come back and try and set it up
I've been running round in circles. So they didn't have everything that we needed at B&Q. We got some bits, but there's other things specifically for the gas that we have to get from here because it's a specific gas bottle, which is a little bit annoying. I um, kind of wish that came with it if it's a specific one that isn't readily available in places like places like b and q um and yeah as we can't have it connected obviously to our gas um heat uh, gas bottle which means we have to buy another one but anyway we're here we're gonna try and find one and see how it goes oh dear the ones i love thought that i would find the answers drinking till my feet felt numb just like father did when i was young I don't know how I could be so dumb I've been lost far too long But that was unsuccessful. Um, we got to see some very expensive um, caravans that kind of cheered us up. <laughs> but yeah, we have now pulled up to a third location to try and find this gas bottle. So far, it's a lot of hassle. But yeah, maybe, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know what I was going to say about maybe, but let's hope B&M are better than B&Q and the caravan place. Have you ever felt like some... Okay, so it's now actually the next day. Um, yesterday in the end, we didn't manage to finish, <laughs> which is crazy. And it is now today, it is actually raining. So a big part of this video was trying this outside water heater. In Scotland where it's obviously cold and today it's also raining so that should be fun um, we're gonna try and actually test it today see how it goes yeah let's just go get wet I guess <laughs> place to stay somehow ended up here on the ground Brother, help me up, I've fallen down. I know that I've heard the ones that are. So we've just tested it. Um, it is actually really good. We've got the gas on half and it's coming out really warm. Um, if you wanted to shower in it, it would maybe have to be a bit, little bit hotter, but it was actually starting to get a bit too hot. Um, and the water pressure also really good like i already mentioned this is the exact same shower we got for the van coincidentally which means that it does use a very little amount of water which is obviously fantastic um so yeah as a water heater it does actually work really well and i am i would be happy with it the only problem for us is that currently we don't have a hose in the van with pressure um, we've set it up but it's not actually finalized so i won't really be able to use this i'm currently at my mom's house in Scotland so we were able to use her hose uh, to get the pressurized water inlet which is something that like I say I in the van can't do at the moment so I don't know how much I'm gonna use it but as a water heater outdoor water heater is actually really good it is also very small and doesn't weigh very much so it is easy to like transport if it had a pump or something in it so that you could get water from a river or somewhere like that for wild camping then it would be ideal and I would use it so much. <laughs> Overall, I found that this was a really good product. It just wasn't at all what I thought it was. I was under the impression that it was for wild camping. So when I realized that it had to be connected to a source of pressurized water, I realized I wouldn't be able to use it. However, I think that somebody could really benefit from this product and I think it definitely does have a market as it is a very good water heater in itself and it is light and it is portable it just for my wild camping needs it just wouldn't work i hope this review helped you if you are looking for a water heater um it did solve any questions so that if you do get it you know exactly what you're buying and suits all the needs that you have <laughs> thank you so much for watching this video and i look forward to seeing you in the next one bye